Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Valentina, I'm a makeup lover and the latest makeup products and in today's video I'm going to test a new eyeshadow palette and uh, I have this one from Chanel. This is a new healthy glow natural eyeshadow palette in uh, cool. This is what I have on my eyes right now. I'm going to create this makeup look and uh, I'm going to give you some updates for the makeup I've used in my last video. So if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching. I already have my eyebrows on and uh, I've used this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel with this precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. I really like this eyebrow gel. This holds the brows in place all day and uh, I like to apply this first and then I like to use this uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill in any gaps. And next I'm going to apply my face primer and uh, I'm going to use this new Healthy Winter Glow Primer from Chanel. I've used this uh, new face primer from Chanel for the first time in my last video and uh, I did a wear test. So if you want to see a first impression video for this uh, new face primer and uh, the wear test, I highly recommend you to check my last video. As a little update since my last video, I have to say that I really like this face primer. I have oily skin, so I never thought that I would like this uh, face primer because this is a glowy hydrating primer. This doesn't make my skin look greasy but my skin feels very comfortable, hydrated and fresh with this primer. Has a really nice cooling effect. I feel like this primer is very good for me now in the winter when it's very cold outside so my skin likes this primer. I also want to mention that my skin is peeling right now because I did a peeling treatment uh, on my uh, skin and I have so many dry patches but uh, this primer helps a little. I hope you can see what uh, my skin looks uh, glowy and uh, hydrated which i need so if you're looking for a glowy moisturizing primer i highly recommend you this one from chanel i have a nice hydrating base so uh, next i'm going to apply uh, a matte foundation and for my foundation next i'm going to use this terracotta lutein from guerlain I really like this foundation, has a nice natural finish and I love that this lasts uh, very well on my skin all day. Very nice finish with this foundation. I'm very impressed that uh, this doesn't emphasize my dry spots. I don't use this so much uh, on camera, but I use it a lot for my everyday makeup. And next I'm going to apply my concealer. And for today, I'm going to use this Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I don't have much left in here, so uh, I want to use what I have left. But uh, this is my favorite concealer right now. It has full coverage with a natural finish and uh, is very long lasting. If I have to recommend you one concealer right now, is this one by Natasha Denona. I'll also use this as my eyeshadow base. My under eyes are very dry, but uh, this concealer doesn't emphasize that, so uh, this is another great thing about this concealer. And uh, I'm going to set everything in place with this uh, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And next I'm going to use this Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Jellyfish. I love everything from this palette. I love these two finishing powders. I love the two blushes. The highlighter is gorgeous. And also this uh, powder bronzer. Everything from here is very good, very good quality, long lasting formula. For today, I'm going to use the bronzer, the highlighter, the two finishing powders because I'm going to use another blush for today. And uh, I'm going to start with the bronzer.
And next I'm going to apply this new Chanel blush. This is the new Le Beige Healthy Winter Glow Blush in Corée Givre. I've used this for the first time in my last video with uh, this new primer. So uh, I'm not going to tell you much about this blush now because uh, all the details are in uh, my last video. As a little update, I have to say that uh, I still like this blush. The color is gorgeous. This is my new favorite blush right now. I try to get this a little more high up. I feel like it's more flattering for my face shape, but I don't know. What do you guys think? And now I'm going to use again this palette. I'm going to use this powder under my eyes. I hope you can see, but this is very brightening uh, under my eyes. So with and without this uh, finishing powder, and I'm going to use this all over the skin. Now I'm going to apply this highlighter. Like, look at how gorgeous is this. Has that wet skin type of a finish that I like. Doesn't emphasize the pores, the texture. I love this highlighter formula. And next I'm going to test this new Chanel eyeshadow palette. This is the new Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette. This is how the box looks like. The eyeshadow palette comes in this uh, velvet cover. And this is how the packaging looks like. The eyeshadow palette comes with these uh, two little brushes. And this is the color story in the eyeshadow palette. So this is a palette of five natural, easy to wear colors to match every mood and create endless looks from the most discreet to the most intense. Its silky texture glides softly over the eyelids for an even, luminous and long wearing result. Multi-purpose can be used as a base, highlighter or eyeshadow. Its iconic Le Beige case includes a large mirror and two applicators, a foam tip, to apply and a brush with extremely soft synthetic bristles to blend. In this palette we get powders enveloped in a soft creamy texture for shades that blend together easily, satiny shades, pearlescent particles for intense colors, matte shades, a formula enriched with synthetic mica for luminous colors, it's ophthalmologist tested, suitable for contact lens wearers, and this was made in France and has 18 months shelf life. So first I'm going to swatch all of these colors on the back of my hand. And uh, this is how these colors look swatched on my hand. These three colors from here are almost invisible, but uh, these are very creamy and uh, pigmented. So for a first impression, these colors are very soft, not a lot of pigment in here. And I feel like this palette is very good for uh, more natural makeup looks, but uh, we will see. So next I'm going to apply these colors on my eyes. I'm going to use just this palette today because I want you to see if uh, we can create something just with this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to start with this first. I'm going to layer this a few times because this is very subtle. I feel like I need to apply it multiple times so I can see something. I'm going to use this color next in the outer corners. 
Okay, we just see something. Next, I'm going to apply this uh, shimmer shade all over my eyelids. I have to layer this a few times so I can see something. I'm going to take this uh, little brush to apply this shimmer shade on minor corners. I don't have something uh, to highlight in here, so I'm going to use this color. Or maybe I can use this one. No, nothing. Next, I'm going to use this color from here on my lower lashes. And the, the last color, this from here. I'm going to use this closer to my lashes, a little bit on my uh, lower lashes, and uh, I'll try to do a wing. Let's see if this is pigmented enough to be used uh, like this. I have a lot of fallouts on my under eyes. And uh, I'm going to use again the blending brush with this color to blend everything from the under eyes. And uh, I'll use again this, like in here. Blend everything again. I'm going to apply my mascara and something on my lips and uh, I'll quickly do this off camera and I'll be right back. So this is the finished makeup look. For my mascara, I've used this YSL Lash Clash Mascara. And all over the lips, I've used this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in a Pillow Talk. Now, final impressions for my new eyeshadow palette. The colors in this eyeshadow palette are not very pigmented. These colors from here are very subtle and you have to layer this uh, a few times to see something. And these two colors from here uh, are pigmented, creamy, and very pretty. But I feel like this eyeshadow palette is very expensive for uh, what we get in here. I recommend you to buy this eyeshadow palette only if you like uh, the color story from here. And um, if you do just... Uh, natural makeup looks uh, on your eyes. I feel like other than what I already have on my eyes right now, I can't do much with this eyeshadow palette. I like the makeup look I have on right now, but uh, for now I'm not very impressed about this eyeshadow palette. I'll have to test this more to see how long lasting are these colors and uh, I'll update you about everything in my next video. But please let me know if you have this eyeshadow palette and if you like it and also please let me know what other makeup products would you like me to test next but that's everything for today i hope this video was helpful and i hope you like it if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also ring the bell to be notified when i upload i post every week so make sure to hit the notification bell i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye